Ah, damn it. Oh, finally. Hey, my loves. What's up? And welcome back to the Trend Diaries. I'm Nadi, and Nadi is back with yet another makeup testing haul video. And I'm super thrilled for this one because uh, today I have so many good new launches that went viral, and Nidhi so wanted to try those out. And finally, I have them all in here. I also made a shot of you know some products when I received them. So if you haven't checked that, you can check that as well. But now this is like the detailed video with the rest of the products too. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the Trend Diaries, what's the wait? Go ahead and join the Trend Fam. With that being said, now let's get started. The very first product is this. from the house of swiss beauty it is the real makeup base now this is not a new launch bahut zyada time ho gaya hai is launch way but i didn't get my hands on it and that i saw many people raving about it i thought let's give it a shot so i got it and oh my god let me just show you firstly that is how the texture looks like it's very creamy and when you blend it it just blends with a beautiful sheen behind like oh my god the skin looks super glowy and wet and i live for such things this is like a great great dupe for the mac stroke cream if you don't have it this is like super affordable the mrp is 399 rupees but i think i got it for like 250 something which was like super affordable and just look at the glow like this is insane guys If you haven't yet tried this, definitely give it a shot. This is like Max Drop Cream ka super affordable version because the shimmer particles in this is very fine, so you know does not look glittery, chunky at all, but leaves that beautiful, you know, glass-like sheen and glow on your face, for which I live. I loved it. The only con I felt is it's slightly overperfumed, but other than that. The glow is bomb. New launch from Rene Cosmetics is this. This is their PH Madness lip gloss. So I did see their matte lipstick earlier, the black colored one. But this is the newer launch, which is a black lipstick in liquid form. So I wanted to try it, and that is how the packaging looks like. Now let's see the swatch of it. If you see, it just applies. clear and they say it changes color let's see whether it changes color or not because i don't know and it does have slightest bit of you know glitter in the formula as you can see through the tube but let's try it on the lips and see and let's see like that's the original color of my lips the same kind of color to me let's see whether it changes the color or not or was it just a scam but right now even the swatch hasn't Changed its color. I don't know. Side me rakte hain, dekhte hain if it works or not. कुछ और try करते हैं. So I have two foundations today, and the very first one is a repurchase, which is from Pack. It's their flawless finish liquid foundation, and oh my god, I love this foundation. I swear by this foundation. If you want something that is sweat proof and very long lasting and transfers very little, then go ahead and grab this one. They have amazing shade range. So you can definitely find out your shade. I am 3.0 in their uh, liquid foundation, and okay, that is how the packaging comes. So it's a glass bottle with bin kaam ka cap, as I always say. But I love love this foundation. That is the shade of the foundation. It's a beautiful warm toned foundation. Perfect if you are having skin tone around NC40 in Mac or. 312 in uh, Maybelline Golden Superstay. Um, this is a perfect match for me. You can see how easily this just blends into my skin tone. But this is not a new launch. I have a new launch, so let's test that out instead of this one today. Think about this from Swiss Beauty. This is their airbrush finish, full coverage foundation, which is infused with hyaluronic acid and uh, vitamin E, aloe vera, and coconut water, which all seems. super good uh, juicy ingredients that they put for like giving you that dewy and glowy base and i live for such foundations because i am an extreme dry skin type person the outer packaging looks super good and cute it's matte and that is how the inner packaging looks like it is a glass bottle with a matte finish again now i got the second last shade which is 04 golden beige i think they have five or six shades out of which i opted for this one so let's see how it goes it does have a pump packaging and that is how the shade 04 looks like it has a good yellow undertone as you can see but it's slightly light you can see this is like a very good close skin tone match but anyways we'll 
try how it looks. And then for the brushes, I forgot talking about these. These are the Mars Tools of Titan uh, brush set. So I purchased it because I so wanted to get my hands on it. This is not in my PR, but I loved how these came out to be. You do get a set of three are your face brushes and four are your eye brushes. And uh, only thing is that I think they've packed a lot with plastic. They can just eliminate individual plastic wrapping, I would suggest. But let's try it out. That is the foundation brush. Look at the bristles. These are vegan synthetic fibers and are super soft, guys. These are so, so soft. I loved, loved these. These are even softer than my golden brush set. I don't know what is that called, but this is just different quality. I loved it. And again, this was very affordable. 799 is the MRP of eight brushes, which is roughly 100 rupees per brush. But you can get additional discount on Mars Cosmetics if you use my code uh, Nidhi10. I would have it on the screen. So let's test this brush, the foundation, which has been sitting for a really long time. Uh, the shade is definitely light, but look at how smooth and flawless my skin's looking. Okay, so that is like a pump of the airbrush foundation and I have to say it looks so good on the skin. Where is the foundation? <laughs> okay, so here's the foundation. I must say you're seeing my skin in natural daylight. No studio lights are involved and look at how flawless uh, my skin is looking. It is giving a very dewy kind of finish. I really like it. I would not call it full coverage as they have said this is like a medium coverage for me and i have like literally taken a pump of it so seems like a light coverage right now but you can definitely build it up but i'm happy with just this coverage i like how this looks but definitely the shade is not a match for me uh, i think you can go for the next shade 05 or 06 this is pale for my nc40 medium tan skin so yes but overall the formula is really good also an update on the lip gloss did it change color like slightest pink hue i can see definitely okay i'm not mad uh, definitely looks very natural mlbb kind of shade but the best part is that it is not sticky neither does it have any strong fragrance so i like that part it's just that it's not very very pink i i like how it looks it's like very decent yeah I don't have any new concealer, so I would just use like tiny amount of my Swiss Beauty concealer. This is in shade 4. By the way, this brush is just bomb. I'm loving how it's like, you know, zoop and it's blended. It's blending it so effortlessly and like quick. Mars is literally nailing the game these days. So I have so many new blushes. Definitely, I've become a blush freak right now. I just cannot stop buying more new blushes because I am in love with them. So I couldn't help. I saw these on Amazon. They were like recently launched and I so wanted to grab them. So I got them. But these two liquid blushes known as the Super Dewy Blush from Makeup Revolution newly launched on Amazon and I got these two shades. That is the inner packaging. Super cute. Uh, let's just quickly swatch them. But that looks so good so these two have a very beautiful formula i did try it in a shot so you can check that out today we'll try something new because i have more blushes here let me know if you want you know individual um swatch shots on youtube or maybe something like that i would definitely do those then i also got these two liquid blushes from makeup revolution which they called it as a dupe for the rare beauty blushes and I got them because I wanted to try it. I have two colors. This one is a Dolly Rose. It's a muted pink color. And the second shade is Orange Clam because I wanted to try an orange blush. I was very intrigued, so I got it. Okay, let's open it up together. Oh, now that is a humongous doe fit applicator. And uh, if I have any space left, the color Dolly Rose. It's a beautiful color. Definitely the texture feels something different. It is more, you know, soft gel like in consistency when i touch it like in the very first instance i can say this is more gel like and um the second one is orange glam let's swatch that too so that is the shade orange 
glam oh my god that looks pretty i'm gonna try out this shade which is dolly rose so let's try it together with the same uh, foundation brush i would blend this out wow that looks so good it's just blending super quick i don't know whether it's the product or the brush i think it's the brush like everything is blending out like so quick within seconds this color looks so good and you know gives me that fresh feel on the skin oh my god i love it just look at the tone i'm loving how this looks wow these blushes though were new launches but i got it on offer of amazon so you can definitely check out amazon is having their sale right now and they're having super crazy steal offers going on i would have all of the product links in the description box so definitely check that out but these are just a bomb i loved it next i have this a blush from simply nam so this is in the shade we go way back which is basically an almond brown kind of shade which would be a super beautiful neutral kind of color for your nude everyday kind of blush shade or it would be even good if you just want to add a little bit of warmth to your face like the perimeters this is just the best one to go for and i got it for its packaging because just look at the packaging it is so beautiful clear and just closes with a click i loved the packaging of this one and that is how the blush looks like feels super creamy and pigmented so that is the shade oh my god that is a beautiful color now let's try it out just over here on the contours of my face slightly i would go with this blush today also this kind of packaging i'd seen uh, glowish has and even kylie's uh, new blushes have this same kind of clear acrylic packaging and they look super classy and now that they have it i have it in my collection let's uh, blend this out okay that looks pretty guys like literally it's worth the coin i know it's slightly costly but um it is because of the kind of packaging they've done and i think also the product is super good quality i love their liquid lipsticks and i love how this is looking as well this is not sponsored i've got it with my own money but i loved how this one is looking definitely after all of that i have a new powder from l'oreal infallible this is their oil killer full coverage like high coverage powder and i got myself a shade number 250 radiant sand so let's test it out also i got this uh, makeup sponge which has gone viral these days for setting your makeup and it just looks flawless so we'll also try this out this was like super affordable i think 125 rupees ya kuch ka tha and you can definitely check that out of amazon you can find it easily only the thing is the size is super petite but as long as it does the work chal jayega right we'll try one side with the puff and the other side with a brush and let's see if that does make any difference wait wow i am intrigued so i like brought you close you can see my under eyes are not set and let's just try look up and wow oh my god that looks super blurred oh my god what this looks so smooth Wow, the powder is just lit you guys. Let's try the face. Let's try and set the This side is definitely shine. Are you kidding me? This what? If you can see it like wow, this is just so good and this puff, I don't know what is it, but blown it has like instantly mattified my skin down oh my god like before after wow so we have this beautiful uh, tapered brush uh, which is 102 and look at how soft the bristles are i love such tapered brushes for my powder so i would just pick this up on the brush and definitely here with the brush side it is not as smooth as the sponge side but it has a mattified but i love the sponge side more i will have to admit 
this is something crazy but i love the effect so let's just set the rest of the face as well really loved loved how this one is looking and the gloss is turning more and more pink uh, definitely it's working i thought it would be a gimmick but it's not to my surprise but anyways i love this powder for my brows i saw this new launch from makeup revolution launched on amazon so i got it this is the soap styler from makeup revolution which is a tinted soap styler so basically i've tried so many soap stylers but the thing is that when i freshly apply it on camera even it looks so good but after some time it just balls up like those white soapy balls all over my eyebrows and that looks so bad as if koi glue sa lag gaya hai mere eyebrow hair par aur you know it just looks very sticky crumbly and just does not look flattering at all and so i've stopped using that but i saw this and i was like if it's a tinted one i think it would work great on my dark eyebrow hair and i'm just not able to open it okay finally i did how gorgeous the chrome packaging is i got the shade brown you get a tinted soap with a spoolie brush in here to activate this i've used that just make sure you don't let it emulsify otherwise it would look very soapy on your brow this is so tiny i can't even hold it man let's just brush through my eyebrow oh my god just look at both of my eyebrows this looks just crazy it's like all droopy <laughs> and this one looks so clean sharp and crisp oh my god wow we'll just see if this thing holds because nothing really holds my brow hair and they end up falling back but let's see how this goes then i got a super viral product which is from a korean brand peripera their lip velvet in shade number 17 which is a very very popular shade from their range and i got it the packaging is super cute i must say it's like ah, so cute but let's see if it works that is the shade of the lipstick Oh my god this lip gloss left a beautiful pink stain on my lips I wasn't expecting this to do this but you can see it is looking so pretty I like it so yeah that's a pass from my end try this out Mm No this looks so beautiful on the model Ah uh, sadly this looks way too pale on my skin tone I'm so bummed right now you don't even know oh my god uh, I so wanted this to work but the formula is very soft velvet mousse kind of a texture and it does transfer but the color is completely off on my skin tone I was expecting it to be much more deeper rosy nude which it is not on my skin but yeah sad Anyways I have one more product from Simply Nam which is their hydrating lip butter and I got this in the shade Munna they call it as brown sugar color and that is how it looks like I wanted to try this out for the shade because the shade is just stunning look at the color it's a neutral brown shade I love how it is but this is not matte matte it does transfer but it is hydrating so let's try it So yes that is how the shade Munna looks like isn't that a gorgeous color oh my god this looks so pretty so so pretty yeah i like it the last product i have is another wider product which is the Maybelline Sky High mascara let's open it up together packaging looks so fancy i like it and this is i think the waterproof one i don't think they've launched the non waterproof variant in india but they definitely do have one in the us but anyways that is how the wand looks like now the wand is like ooh, ooh, ooh. the wand is very very flexible i don't know how that would perform it's like bahut zyada hil raha hai you know but um let's test it out you can see my lashes very sparse i know i know i know but let's try without any color i want to see how this one goes on my lashes Okay you can see my lashes right away I don't think it has added any volume as such but uh, definitely uh, it has added a nice length to my lashes I have to like test it even more because you know I'm just not able to make decisions on mascara 
in the first go because I like have to test it and at times you know when mascara dry down they perform much better at least for me so I would have to give it more fair chances and then only let you know what I feel but right off the bat I can definitely see it adding good length to my lashes not very crazy but I just try to build this one up for two to three coats and you can see it has like literally made my lashes go so I can definitely see it adding good length definitely definitely lashes you can see definitely so those are my lashes it has like added a good amount of length to my lashes I must say this one is slightly crumbly spidery but not that much but still looks pretty right we'll have to test this more and we'll let you know in my future videos but for now at least yes it is working like Maybelline knows their mascara formulas really well but yeah that is it just slightest amount of the Mars liquid eyeshadow on my inner corner to just brighten it up so yes that was me trying out some hot new launches of Amazon and let me know what do you like the most out of today's haul and you can find all of the product links mentioned in the description box don't forget to check out amazing sale and discounts going on on Amazon right now and I shall meet you all soon in my next video till then take care namaste and keep trending